Today, we're gonna talk about the ecosystem of the Model 3, coming up. I'm Joy, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I share my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new owners learn more about this car and also for future owners who are still researching to make an informed decision on their purchases. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Today, as you saw in the intro, I have two special guests with me. I have Arash from Scent Wedge, as well as Raj, who is another YouTube video creator, but he also has a product called the Drop Lock that came out about a month or two ago. And I noticed recently that there are these little DIY projects that start popping up and people are creating their own products to solve some of the solutions that the Model 3 has that the current market doesn't provide. So I decided to interview Arash and Raj and talk about their inspiration on coming up with their products. So enjoy the video. First up, I have Arash from Scent Wedge. If you didn't know about Scent Wedge, Scent Wedge is an air freshener built specifically for the Model 3. I got mine last week and I have them in my car and it smells amazing. I will link the product information down below so you can check them out and order yours. So Arash, first question I, I wanted to get to know a little bit more about your background is how long have you had your Model 3 and what made you decide to get your Model 3? Right, so I've been a fan of Tesla uh, since about 2012, uh, senior year at uh, Berkeley. Um, and, you know, just I've always uh, had a goal to have like a Model S. And then the X came out, and I was like a huge fan of the X. And then as soon as the 3 came out, I was, I pre ordered um, April 1st, 2016, and I picked up the car September 13th of 2018. So um, yeah, it's, it's been a, an incredible experience so far. I think I put over 18,000 miles on the car already. Wow, wow. Um, and, I, uh, and I just got autopilot yesterday, so. Congratulations. So now I'm just uh, super stoked, super excited to uh, go actually road tripping more. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I love the car and it's, it's, it's my muse, so. Great, so what inspired you to create Scent Wedge? Right, so I, um, I have a dog and we go running pretty much every day at uh, her favorite dog park uh, down the street, Point Isabel. And um, she goes and she plays in this mud and it's like very uh, rotten egg smelling. <laughs> and so, um, you know, the idea kind of, you know, that was the catalyst for having an air freshener for the Model 3. Um, I, I love the design and the minimalism of the car and you know, I didn't want to, you know, create something that distracts from the view of the car itself. And so Scent Wedge really was, you know, something that developed really fast and just everything came together like perfectly. Um, and it, it was awesome in that sense. So really it was inspired by my dog who, who gets money and stinks. And then, uh, and then the, the design of the car really just lended itself to you know, creating a new type of air freshener. Great, so could you describe just a little bit how people would use this? Yeah, so that's by far like, probably one of the most challenging parts is really describing how to use the scent wedge. Um, but it, essentially it works by being wedged into the uh, secondary air vent of the Model 3. And it, it's a nice snug fit uh, with the Model 3. Um, and you, you basically place it right behind uh, the steering wheel and you can place another one on the passenger side. And what happens is as the directional airflow uh, comes out of the secondary vent, it mixes with the primary vent and uh, you have scented air, essentially. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, this is a very minimalistic design and very um, invisible, I would say, because yeah. once you set it on there, you don't see it like the traditional vent right. scent, right? Yeah. You have the thing that you may stick right. onto the air vent or the, the trees, trees. Yeah. <laughs> sure. hanging yeah. down, right? Right. Yeah. So, so that was like that was the intent from the start was to create something that's completely out of sight, 
Um, you don't see it, but you smell it. Um, the other thing is too, I'm like extremely sensitive to overpowering smells that goes with fragrances, colognes, and, and car air fresheners. And so the other intent behind Scent Witch was to have something be, you know, super subtle. Um, and in all natural. Great, thank you. And I actually also saw on your website that when you buy a pack, you actually plant a tree. Yes, yeah. So yeah, and that was from day one as well. Um, and really the idea came about uh, inspired by the fact that the wedge is made out of wood, all natural wood. And, you know, of course you can produce you know, a lot of sandwiches from one tree, but I thought it would be like a really cool idea to plant a tree for every kid sold. Um, and it's it's just like good incentive for people to do it because collectively, you know, it, it only costs a dollar to plant a tree, right? But, you know, collectively, like if one person plants a tree, it's not the same impact as like 10,000 people planting a tree every month or something like that. So right. that was kind of the idea. That's, that's a great idea. So please support Sand Wedge order yours now. And finally, I wanted to get your input on what you think the impact is that Tesla has. Right. Um, like, I've never been a car person. Um, and I think it's pretty compelling to get someone like myself to be so interested in a car company. But the thing is, I don't think Tesla is a car company. I think they are um, a technology company, but really an energy company. Um, and I think the impact that Tesla is having on the world is actually a lot bigger than most people realize. Um, with the advent of the battery wall, or the power wall, and um, you know, off the grid energy, the solar technology, uh, and the car is just a piece of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just incredible. Like, I, I don't have, words for it. I think it's the most exciting company uh, of our time. And, you know, yeah, it's great. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I actually, I feel the same way. I feel that they are a technology right. uh, company that's making cars right. <laughs> versus a car company trying to catch up with the exactly. technology. Exactly. And I think it's so, it's so interesting because the advantage that Tesla has being electric first is that they don't have to worry about cannibalizing you know, a portion of their business, right. right? To push electrification, like that's the goal from the start. And you see a lot of companies like BMW, for example, coming out with electric vehicles that look like they're intentionally designed to look hideous. And, you know, it, it, it always, I always used to think about that, right? It's like, you know, BMW has beautiful cars. Like why, why do they make their electric car stand out and look the way it does, right? And and so I think a lot of that has to do with the fear of cannibalizing, you know, your your children, essentially. <laughs> right, right? Right. So, um, but yeah, um, yeah. Great. Any um, last comments that you like to share about Tesla? Latest news? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I see a lot of stuff online about people, uh, you know, being disappointed that the price dropped and the early adopters feeling like that way, but. I completely disagree with that um, because I feel like, you know, being an early adopter, like that comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. um, you're in essence subsidizing uh, a, a lower uh, price point for future customers. And the mission is to excel the electrification of cars, right. um, not to buy a luxury car or, and the, the thing is the car is not an investment, right? Like. I didn't buy the car thinking that it's gonna go up in value. I bought the car because I wanted to drive it and utilize it as a tool. And it's an incredibly amazing tool. And the fact that now you can buy it for a lower price doesn't take away the the thrill I get from driving, right? So so I just, yeah, I mean, online, you get these people um, complaining about things, so, yes. you know. We but, all do from some from time to time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, really, it's yeah. I completely support Tesla, and you know, growth hurts yes. sometimes. But yes. you know, it's uh, it's necessary. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so cool. much for your time. Thank you so much. Nice Appreciate to meet you. And get sent wedge. <laughs> Thanks. Next up, I have Raj 
from Tesla Raj YouTube channel. You may recognize his face. He recently did the Sentry Mode video. He was one of the first ones to have gotten that software update and that video blew up. But what you may not have known is that he's also a creator of the Drop Lock. And I'll have him talk a little bit more about this product. I have this on order and I can't wait to get mine. So Raj, welcome to Tesla Joy. Thank Tesla you, Raj. Thank you, Joy. Tesla Joy, how about that? <laughs> the Tesla YouTubers have come together. Exactly, exactly. So um, same thing as I, I walked through with Arash is I wanted to get, get to know your background on yeah. how you came to the Model 3 decision. So if you can share with us a little bit when you got your Model 3, how you made that decision. Yeah, so uh, I have been a fan of Tesla for a, a very long time. Um, probably not as long as some others. Um, I was not on board with like the Roadster and I just wasn't really, I'm not a car guy at heart, um, but I'm a technology guy. So anything involving tech is what really drives me. So when Model S came out, that was huge and it was like oh there's a screen inside and you can do everything from your phone and nobody had something that could do that uh, so I remember with the Model S I was like oh I would love to it just was completely out of the price range um, and so you know I just followed it and was a fanboy on the side and uh, the minute I heard about an affordable you know 35k Model 3 coming out um, I I was a first day line stander um, placed my order for it and uh, and waited patiently and literally two years to the day of ordering it, I got my configuration and I received it April 2018. Nice, very yeah. nice. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about Droplock, the product that you created. Yeah. Can you share with us what inspired you to create this and um, what the process was like? Yeah, absolutely. I So after getting my car, in fact, like now a lot of a lot of customers who get their car, they're joining groups and, and getting in, involved. Uh, but when I got mine, there wasn't a whole lot out there. There was the uh, Model 3 Owners Club and, uh, and, and Facebook. I was uh, a lot on Facebook and people were starting to comment and, and write a bunch of stuff. And that's when I started to see that there wasn't a day that would go by that I wouldn't see a broken glass show up on Facebook. And it just was just irritating me. When I see people work hard uh, and get punished for something that they didn't do, it like, it it affects me, right? It upsets me. Um, and so I just sat by like a lot of people do and just like offered condolences and, and you know, tried to sympathize with them. But it was just like, it, it was holiday break and I was sitting at home and I was like, why has nothing been done for this? There's gotta be something. And so uh, I reached out to uh, a Tesla DIY, who's another YouTube channel. Um, and he's actually a neighbor to me. Um, and I know he knows a lot of the catting and, and 3D printing. And so I took my idea over to him and we started working on a design uh, and created something. And, and the goal of it was to uh, be you know cheap, affordable, simple and clean uh, and effective. And that's really what it is um, and so we after about a month of you know uh, uh, working on prototypes and stuff like that we got something that we felt pretty comfortable with fantastic yeah. so um, I recommend everyone to get drop lock this how can you tell us how this works yeah essentially uh, all it is is a is a, we call it a lock but it's essentially a, uh, a deterrent a block to the rear seat latch uh, so what criminals do is they break the little quarter panel uh, by the side of the seat. They reach in, uh, there's a latch there that allows you to fold down the seat very easily. Well, this essentially sits in there and blocks it such that it cannot be removed. Uh, now you, you can remove it, it just makes it very difficult to remove. So most of these criminals are looking to break in quick, easy, it's, uh, you know, a grab and go, right? And so the minute they hit, uh, it's it's, it's probably not gonna prevent your glass from being broken, but we do include vinyl stickers that hopefully deter, but if your glass still does get broken and they reach in, uh, they're gonna be met with a, a very difficult task ahead of them to get the seat down. Right, so how do you see that now we have sentry mode, since yeah. you were one of the first ones to yeah. have gotten that update, how do you see that impacting Drop lock. Yeah, I mean, and to be honest, like this was done in uh, with the thought process of that, you know, Tesla could come up with something at any point and completely 
get rid of us, right? And so uh, what I like about sentry mode is it doesn't really get rid of drop lock, it almost complements it. Uh, sentry mode uh, still protects your car, helps deter uh, you know thieves away from your car by watching your car at all times and alerting you if anything goes wrong. Um, but you know, if your car is in, let's say for example, a parking garage, right? And you're not in an area that you can get to your car quickly, or there's no uh, reception so that your phone is not gonna alert you when your alarm goes off, those are ways where the thief's gonna get in, they've got, all they need is really 15 seconds to get in and fold down the seats. When presented with drop lock as well, they're not gonna be able to do it, and so hopefully they'll, they'll run. Great, great, yeah, that's, that's my sentiment too, is that this is the backup. Yeah. Exactly. As a, for the deterrent. Um, and finally, same question to you yeah. as I did with Arash is, um, how do you think Tesla is impacting our lives, our world, the future? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, it's really big. I, I think a, a lot of people don't really stop to kind of pull back and really look at the bigger picture, but you know, we have operated on fuel and gas you know, from, you know, the early 1900s. And, and there's not been, there's been a couple of electric cars here and there and nothing ever took off and nothing really uh, got to this level that it's at right now. And I think Tesla's at this turning point, especially with them finally getting to that 35K car, that a car becomes less than the average price of a car in the US, which is around 36K. Uh, now we're coming right underneath that. And for a car that doesn't require gasoline, that helps the environment, it's not polluting the environment, that has less maintenance um, and is in most cases faster than your standard gasoline car. Um, I, I think it's it's a huge feat and it's not easy and which is why a lot of people don't do it and a lot of our big car companies today are they're acknowledging that Tesla is a little bit ahead of them um, and that it's, it's not an easy task to get to and so I give them full credit on that it's not easy to do to be a disruptor and that's exactly what they're doing. Great, great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time Definitely. Raj. So you, nice to meet yes, you. Likewise. So now you guys know what cool products there are out there specifically for the Model 3. We have Sandwich, we have Drop Lock. Again, product descriptions down below, order them. And if you enjoyed this video, once again, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down there, make comments down below. Let me know if you know any other Model 3 DIYers that you think other people should know about. Share it with us. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Today, I'm going to talk about the ecosystem. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't know why I'm cracking up. I'm just not in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hi everyone, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I share my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new owners learn more about this car and also for future owners to make an informed decision on their purchases. And today, as you can see... Sorry, I'm, I'm stopping this. I'm so awkward.